Hi everybody. Uh, I've recently gotten into resin 3D printing and I found that there are a ton of different resins you can work with, different materials and colors. And while there are a lot of options, I often find that uh, I cannot get a resin in a particular color that I'd like to work with. For example, I have a really nice translucent green color, but there's many times where I want a different shade or I'd like a solid green and from what I've seen at least that's not an option. So today I decided to try and mix my own colors. To do that, I have this nice bottle of uh, white resin, and I have a bunch of little vials of dye. This one's purple. Uh, I think these dyes are meant to be used with epoxy resin, but they should work well here. So for starters, uh, I'm going to pour about 150 milliliters of the resin into this mixing cup. And I'll start out by adding a couple of drops. Alright, mixing that together. It looks like it doesn't mix perfectly. You can kind of see some swirls there at the top, so um, I'll be, have to be careful to really uh, really mix this well to make sure the color fully permeates through the, uh, the resin. And I can see a little bit of color change going on. It's not perfectly white anymore, but we're definitely going to need some more drops. I'm not even going to try to keep count right now. I'll count it all up when I edit later, and I'll either throw it in the description or put it up in the corner of the screen or something. Alright, this is finally looking really good, so I'm going to make sure it's all really nicely mixed here uh, to make sure there's no variation in color throughout it. And then we can take it and pour it into the resin tank of the printer. This machine's an Alegu Mars Pro. It's a uh, pretty common LCD printer. So we can go ahead and just put the uh, lid on the machine, keep any UV light from exposing the resin. Of course it's nighttime, so I'm not sure how much that's actually going to help, but it does keep the, uh, keep the smell contained and it does smell bad. Now we'll go just prep a model for print and we can get running. So here's the part we're going to print. It's just a little uh, model of a boat I found on Thingverse. I'll throw the description down, uh, down below. But I've opened it up in the G2Box software, added some supports and uh, then we can slice it for printing. Here are the settings I use. They're just the normal settings I use for gray and uh, white resins. All right, now that we have our model, start the print. And we'll come back in about an hour and a half to see how it goes. All right, there we go. I'd call that a success. Um, this is the, obviously the part after it's been cleaned up and cured in the UV chamber. Um, we could have gone for a darker purple here with, if we'd added more drops of dye and gotten a more vibrant color, but unhappy with the result. And we could definitely experiment with other colors and, uh, and shades in the future. Thanks for watching.